Hi and welcome to Zavas Corner, a space where the goal is always to teach, to learn, to inspire, to motivate, to encourage. Today I am going to be talking about position lobbyists in the church. Those who have made it their life mission to lobby for every title in the church. And I got inspired or rather the inspiration for this topic is my continued journey in first summer so i've gotten to the point where samuel has gone to look for david or god rather has sent samuel to go find one of jesse's sons david has been anointed and at the end of the chapter where he was anointed so heard about him and had brought him to the palace because at this point Saul was being tormented by a spirit a spirit of depression and the music David played uplifted his spirits so that is where the chapter ended and there were so many things I took out of that chapter but one of them is how David was anointed as the next king of Israel despite not having to fight for it god had chosen him it was god's will that david would become the next king david didn't have to go find samuel make a peach um run a campaign and even when saul heard of him david didn't do anything he had been an anointed king of israel the spirit of god came upon him after he got anointed but he did not he did not make a move he didn't go to Seoul or place himself within the palace because after all as the next king he must be within proximity of the palace he went about his life and in the due course of time Saul heard about David from someone else so the person who spoke to Saul mentioned that he knew david and he played really good music and it would be helpful to saw which meant that after being anointed david went back to his life and ministering on the harp and working most likely still working on the farm for his father's cattle but in a due course of time kind of the way joseph got remembered before pharaoh david got announced if you will before Saul and so you know reached out brought David to the palace was pleased with his administration and then brought him full time went to his father to seek permission for David to be full time in the palace the point I am trying to make is David didn't have to go to people to say oh remember me to Saul or let me um put in a good word for me here and there or let me fight for the position of whatever so that i'll be noticeable to solo inch closer to the throne after all i've been anointed the next king of israel and in churches today I have noticed a lot of people want to fight to be leaders of these, pastors of these, in charge of this committee and the other. And it's pretty much become a political campaign. It's become uh, politics in the church. Like I got really disheartened when I discovered that this was something that happened in the church. I mean, you hear about it. But to grow up and then see it for myself was really disheartening. Children of God whose main focus should be serving God were running around doing all kinds of things, running smear campaigns, creating gossip circles, attacking people's reputations just because they wanted certain positions or were trying to amass allies who will help them lobby for whatever. And that is disheartening. Sometimes there are people who, who knows, in the due course of time, that position, that title, that department, that committee might be yours to lead, even the entire church. You might end up being the pastor of the whole church. But you're running around doing everything wrong. 
if it is God's will for you, no matter where you are, no matter how unseen you are, God will pluck you out from where you are and put you where you're supposed to be. He did it for David. Joseph got he did it for David. Joseph got discovered while um he was he was in the prison. <laughs> Samuel was picked even before before he was born. If something is yours, God will find a way to put you where you need to be. And you don't have to lobby for it. You don't have to campaign for it. You don't have to step over people to get to it. Because it's yours. You just stay where you are. Do your best. Love God. Serve God. And everything else will fall in place in the due course of time. And so that's just my two cents about that particular topic. I mean, if we needed, if I delved into political campaigning and lobbying in the church, it would make me really disheartened. We could feel hours and hours talking about it. Like I really detest it. But if there is anyone listening who has seen that and who thinks that is the way to go, remember that if some, if that is your calling, if that is where you are meant to be, that is where you need to be installed. Just bide your time, serve God, love God, hone whatever talents and skills you have. And in God's own time, which is always the perfect time, you're going to get to that seat or get to that position. That's just my two cents. Remain blessed.